I am here to show off my new, beautiful, and gorgeous new plant babies. Can you feel the excitement? I mean, can you really feel how excited I am about these plant babies? Let's get into it, y'all. y'all see this beauty i mean really can you see how beautiful this plant is i i can't get over how beautiful this maranta is prayer plant well that's the common name for it it's one of the most beautiful plants that i have ever seen like i've seen it on youtube but you know you can't really see the beauty the true beauty of the plant of the foliage from where you're sitting you have to experience it and i've experienced it and i'm loving it it's a gorgeous structural plant okay and as a lot of y'all know during the day or in the morning um uh this plant leaves are down they're open but when it's nighttime, when the evening comes, it closes up as though it's praying. But this is such a beautiful plant. So this is the Maranta Red, okay? And it is distinguished by the red veining that you can see here. Um, the leaves are velvety. And I love this contrast between the dark green and the light green in the middle there with the red veining coming through. Can y'all really see this? I mean, can y'all see this? You all need to get you a Miranda red, okay? You need one of these plants in your life. Um, I say it's structural because of the way the vines are. It's just beautiful. I just can't get over it. It's a beautiful plant, y'all. Okay, so that's my first plant, okay? I wanted to share with y'all. Next plant. Yes, this is a jade plant. This plant is so beautiful. Look at the leaves. Beautiful. Now, yes, this is a jade plant. Okay, a chrysula something. I'm going to put that on the screen. But um, this is a classic plant. Now, this is my second jade plant. The first one I had um, ended up dying on me, and I believe that it was um, it had a case of root rot before I even purchased it, but nevertheless, it died. This is my second one, and I'm taking very good care of this. I'm not overwatering it. I'm watering it every couple of weeks and making sure that the soil is dry before I water it. But this is a classic, guys. I'm not in the plant collection game to collect rare plants i'm here to collect beautiful plants and this is a beautiful plant okay and i've heard stories of people having such plants as a jade plant being passed down to them from family members from grandparents and mothers and you know so on and so forth and they have plants and jade plants that are a hundred years old a hundred plus years old okay so i am looking to possibly give one of these plants that i collect to my children in the future i'd like for them to be able to say you know what my mom passed it on to me and then for their children to be like oh this is from my grandmother and this plant is like 50 60 100 years old okay so this is a classic i love it and it's a new addition to my plant collection so cute love it <laughs> and for the grand finale look at this beauty oh my gosh alocasia friday okay so this plant i've had on my plant want list for the longest time ever since i started collecting plants actually when i saw it 
on YouTube. Um, I was like, I want me one of those, the Strideck. This plant is such a majestic plant. Like I don't even know how much more to describe it. It's, it's so beautiful. I love the dark green velvety foliage. Okay, look at it. And the white staining is more on the neon side you know usually people describe it as just the white veining but to me it's like magical it's so bright it's glowing like literally it's glowing it's a neon white um, veining and it's just coming through so beautifully on this green the leaves and this petioles the way it stands it stands so straight and so regal and so upright and I can't get enough of it I'm so glad I have this in my plant collection and I'm loving it when I first purchased it this plant I'm uh, sorry this leaf was the tallest one this one was a little bit shorter but it was the newest leaf and it's since gotten bigger like it's almost the size of my face okay <laughs> and it's got a new leaf coming out right here so i'm excited okay this one's gonna be nice and tall but um this plant requires moist but not saturated soil so don't overwater it and it likes a lot of humidity and I have it sitting by my humidifier and it's loving it apparently. Um, it's got a few um, new shoots or babies. Okay, so that's great. I'm going to propagate this. All right, but beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done ranting and raving about my new plant babies. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, see y'all later. Take care.